You need to stop doing this. You need to stop that. It's not fun for anyone but you. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Silly girl. You're watching my real life vlogs welcome back welcome back i know you guys are surprised to see my face here in the middle of the week consider this your introduction to my first midweek vlog <laughs> i've been thinking about vlogging more uh for a while now but recently i decided that maybe i would introduce that concept slowly maybe just a couple times a month we would post a midweek vlog unlike my sunday uploads which will be unaffected right we're still uploading on sundays so when i do the midweek vlogs they'll be a little bit more focused on specific subject matter so like today for example i'm going to be getting you guys a little bit more caught up on ann's lock journey i would introduced that concept to you guys back in december when we first put the twist in and i just want to kind of give you guys some updates on where we are with her hair how it's locking and what we're doing for maintenance so definitely comment down below and let me know what you guys think about a midweek vlog that is like this one but aside from the content schedule i'm really excited to get into ann's locks today you guys know i am completely green when it comes to locks like i really know nothing about it i just know when i see cute styles on people that is something that i thought would be great for ann but i know nothing about maintenance um, or anything and i do have a couple folks that are close to me who have locks very beautiful locks and they've given me some advice here and there but i found is that it kind of just depends on who you talk to the information does vary um, from person to person and that, that's not necessarily a bad thing because a lot of hair care especially in our community is kind of like that so I'm not tripping on that at all I did watch a few YouTube videos on some ideas on how to retwist her roots so we're gonna get into some of that today and I'm definitely going to be taking you guys along so yeah just a little bit of background before we get into today's vlog I did lock my daughter's hair and I did post um, a video kind of showing you guys me kind of doing that and the reason we did that right is because for those of you who may be new my daughter is making a lot of noise sorry um she was diagnosed with autism when she was uh 18 months she does have some sensory issues right so she's very averse to having her scalp touched in any way y'all like i mean i can't even pick a piece of lint out of her hair without her freaking out it had gotten to a point where it was so so bad i couldn't even style her hair anymore and so i was toying for a while with doing these locks um just because i was looking for a hairstyle that did not require a whole lot of touching and manipulating and handling of the hair i didn't want to do protective styling because that still would have required me to do her hair every week and also the protective styling methods that are available for her hair texture sure um, would have been really involved and it would have been just kind of miserable for her for me to do these styles every week or every whenever so I decided locks was probably the best choice because not only is it low maintenance in terms of like low manipulation but there's also lesser pressure to have it be super neat like I feel like the beauty of locks and the whole appeal of it is that it's like this kind of carefree look to it you know yeah you can do them different ways to get certain looks but for the most part right people who have locks it's okay for there to be a little frizz right it's okay for a little bit of imperfection with the hair and that's all a part of the look so that's how I landed on doing locks for her and so far you guys just the whole hands-off approach for her hair has been really really great for our family and most importantly for Anne so I have no regrets so far like I really love this for us right I just want to make sure that I'm educating myself in a way where I can maintain these locks to where they're beautiful they stay beautiful and that she feels confident and pretty when she's rocking this style so I want to learn all that I can because I'm already knowing that I'm not going to be able to have other people do her hair as much because it is so difficult to deal with her when you're touching her hair in any way um, and kind of her reaction and her moving around a lot and all that and people who are not familiar or understand her condition will probably be very like uncomfortable doing her hair so I'm already knowing that the maintenance of her her locks at least for now until she perhaps outgrows this phase uh, I'm gonna be the one um, doing it because I don't want you know other people to be doing it and they don't understand or they get frustrated or they get upset or whatever you know what i mean so what we're doing today is we're heading to the beauty supply to pick up some supplies in order to make this thing happen and just got home from school so we were just having a little midday snack and when she finishes her snack we're gonna head out so do y'all want to come all right let's go <laughs> Come on. 
Can mommy have a kiss? Mmm. Can mommy have a kiss? Uh, 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 uh. Can mommy have a kiss? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's okay. Mommy can't have a kiss. See, look, mm -hmm. she won't even let me. Trying to get the lint out your head, and Come on, sweet girl. I need to put your coat on, okay? Come on, sweet girl. Checking yourself out. <laughs> Come on. We're just gonna make a quick run and we'll be right back, okay? Wally, 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 wally in the fun. Yeah. We'll be right back, okay? <laughs> Let me zip your coat. You ready? We're back home. Someone got their happy meal and they're happy about it. Her favorite part is the fries. Um, let me get you a plate. Here, sweet girl, let's eat on the plate, okay? Come on, let's eat on the plate like a big girl, okay? Plain cheeseburger, no condiments. What is this? I thought I was getting apples with this. They didn't give me apples. Low key, gotta put the apple juice in a cup because she will um, over squeeze the no, no, juice box. Juice and have the juice all over the floor. One simple step to save me so much grief later. Okay, here you go, mommy. If you want some apple juice, have at it. All right, Ann, you enjoyed that. And while you're eating that, mommy is going to set up for your hair, okay? Stop kicking, Ann. No, Ann, stop it. Stop kicking, okay? Be careful. Okay, so before I go upstairs and get her stuff ready, let's do a quick beauty supply haul. First thing I got was a satin bonnet with a wide elastic band so that we can put this hair underneath something when she goes to bed. I got myself a pair of lashes, okay? Some white rose water mist. This is gonna come in handy for wetting her hair and just getting it nice and moisturized. And then I got 80 of the double prong clips by the brand Annie, if you can believe that. It's meant to be. And then finally, y'all saw me pick this up, okay? This is the Supreme Performance Braiding Gel Professional BTL, which stands for Braids, Twists, and Locks. Yummy, yummy looking product. Let me smell it and see what is hitting for in the fragrance department. Okay, it smells nice. Uh, it's giving the consistency of an edge product, like Touchdown or something like that. The reason that I, that I didn't want to use a product like Touchdown is because it has residue. It leaves residue and I can't have that um, on her hair. What drew my attention to this is that it was specifically branded for locks, braids, and twists. So I'm hoping that means that it's formulated to be aesthetically proper for those types of hairstyle maintenance projects. But we will see if that doesn't work out, and I'll try it out on a couple in the back. If it doesn't work out, I'm gonna switch to um, a gel that I already have. But we'll see. Let's get started and see how this thing feels, and then we'll I'll kind of talk you guys through what I'm doing. Sound fair? <laughs> All right, I wanted to firstly review with you all the current state of Anne's hair, right? So earlier in the video, I had mentioned that I put these twists in in December. It was actually late November, and then I posted the video in December. Um, so the twists have been in for a, a while. As you can see, they have grown out almost about two inches of new growth and they haven't actually locked up yet like these were twists and for a lot of them they still are twists i could easily take this down and comb her hair out a few people with locks have told me that because of her hair texture it might actually take up to six months which is fine by me right we've got nothing but time here and as long as i can maintain her hair and have it look presentable and cute for different occasions i think i can deal with waiting that long for us to get the actual style that we want so jumping right in, when I initially um, installed these twists, I used a leave-in conditioner and that's it. I wanted to keep it really simple. And since then, I haven't used any product on her hair. I've only just put water just to moisturize. So her hair is practically product-free. 
and that has really helped with keeping down any sort of odor or product buildup or residue since we're not washing her hair right now in order for the locks to set in. Make sense? So here's our little process. I was just separating the hair, um, trying to expose the original parts from when I twisted her hair before. And so I was using a rat tail comb for that until I realized it was making her extremely uncomfortable so I stopped. So we will not be using combs to part and maintain her locks at all because it's just too uncomfortable. You guys saw me spray the rose water on there and now I'm just using that edge product, that twisting product on her roots and I'm just twisting it down. Now this particular one I had to retwist altogether because it had completely come apart. And that's the thing with Anne, she likes to take these apart so I'm gonna have to watch that. Once I'm done twisting it, I'm just going to clamp it right at the root so that it doesn't unravel right away. And then I'm gonna move on to a different section. So that's the one method. The other method you guys will see here, I'm going to use the palms of my hands and I'm just going to roll the whole entire lock into my hand um, just to put it back together a bit because some of these are kind of coming apart because of her hair texture but also because of the way that she handles her hair she does a lot of messing with it and you know making these come apart so I'm just trying to put them back together keep them sturdy so that they can set this first row was a doozy for a lot of different reasons this was my first stab at doing anything like this you guys when I tell you I know nothing about lock maintenance so it was rough on me because of that but also the hair was very very fine back here and um, a lot shorter I just feel like I got a lot better with this technique as I moved on to other sections so here I am pulling down that second section I'm trying to work in rows this was also sort of my technique when I was putting her initial twist in just starting in the back and working my way up as you guys can probably see Anne was fighting me quite a bit as I was trying to work through retwisting her hair and it actually got a lot worse keep watching I'm gonna show you guys some raw footage of like her little tantrums but she tried her best and I definitely tried to work with her with being really gentle so that we could get through this and I was actually moving really really fast trying to get through this as quickly as possible so yeah, ditching the comb tool was one of the major ways of modifying this process so that Anne would not be as uncomfortable. And actually when I was doing my research um, about this process, I noticed that a lot of people, it just kind of depends on who you talk to. Some people prefer really straight lines for their parts, while others prefer it to kind of look um, a little less uniform, right? And I think I'm kind of a fan of like the random, less uniform, um, sections of hair for this again you know it just depends on who you talk to another thing I found through my research was that the method that I'm using of using the palm of my hands to kind of like tighten the the locks back there's actually an idea that that creates thinning or makes the locks um, smaller than they you know could or need to be so I'll definitely keep that in mind for sure and let me know down in the comments what you guys think of that technique if you've had any experience with thinning or if you use that technique or avoid it let me know Sit down. Come on, sit down. Sit down, please. And sit down. Y'all, I have had to put my hair up, crack open a beer. Anne is giving me a run for my money. She keeps jumping out of the chair to run away. She keeps doing everything she can to disrupt this process. Come on, Ann, please. We're almost done. Mommy, come on. And it didn't even take long, y'all. Like we're we're at the we're past the middle mark, and I've only been doing this for like maybe 30 minutes. Ann, come on, mommy. Not even, y'all. This has to been like maybe 18 minutes have passed in real time. Come on, mommy. So mommy's moving fast. Y'all know I got the quickest hands in the Midwest. Like I'm doing it fast, but she is still just. <laughs> Give me just a second here. I'm not playing with you. We have to get this thing finished, okay? <laughs> no, 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 don't touch it. This one. Mm. You got my hair. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. And wait, mommy, wait. <laughs> Stop touching it. Okay, all done with the twisting. This is what it looks like. 
Still got the clips in there, of course. Um, I guess I could let this air dry, but because it's getting close to her bedtime, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of blow dried heat on it. I see you're here, okay? Sit down. We have one more step, okay? Mm, sit down. Ann, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. One more step, okay? Yeah. Ready? You ready? Sit down. Ready? One, two, three. Just putting a rubber band on that one. Picking a small one and sticking it on there. Just so these front ones can stay down. Okay, how's that, Annie Burger? You want this on the floor? Okay. Mm, throw that towel on the floor. Okay, so this should hold. It should hold, 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 hold. Wow. Show them you're here. Show them you're here. You like it? Uh oh, be careful. Ann, be careful. Ann. Here. Here, put your bonnet on. Ready? Oh, mommy, sorry. Ready? Wait, wait, Ann. Wait, we're not done. Ann, wait. Ann. This is, Ann, this is not how it's supposed to go. This has to be on the outside. <laughs> it's a boy, 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 boy. Mm -hmm. so we'll make sure your hair is underneath it. Wait, 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 wait. Make sure your ears can pop out. You want your ears to pop out? Come on, let's make your ears pop out. There we go. Okay. There we go. So it's on there pretty good. It's on there pretty good, mommy. And it's a little kid bonnet, so it's not too big. It's not too big. You ready for your bath? How about a bath? How about a bath? I think somebody earned a bubble bath. Let's have a bubble bath. Y'all, I am so glad to be finished. Like when I tell you my back is <laughs> it's, it's singing, singing a, um, a, a hymn. Okay, uh, yeah. This was a lot of work, but honestly, in the end, I think it was totally worth it. Her hair looks really, really good. Actually turned out better than I thought for it to be my first time doing it, hon, so I'm really excited about it. I don't know, y'all, I might've did something. <laughs> we might be onto something with these locks. Um, I think it's really cute, and you guys see Anne is loving it. She's so happy. She's just shaking them all around. Like, she really likes them. It's just, uh, we really have to make something of the process. I'm her mom, so I'm gonna deal with it no matter what, but I know no one in their right mind, no hairstylist is going to 
um, be willing to be this patient. A kid running, getting up and running out of the chair, crying, squirming, not being still. You can't really even do your job. And that's an issue for someone who's been hired to do something. I'm not even gonna put anyone through that. So for all of you who are going to suggest to me that I have a professional do this, I just want you to think about this footage. There's no way any professional is going to have Ann in their chair without trying to give me a refund or complaining or talking about my child behind her back, you know, stuff like that. So I just don't think it's going to work. I'm just going to try my best to do it the best I can. And then hopefully at some point she'll outgrow this sensory issue that she's having with her scalp. But until then, y'all, I'm going to have to do this. Either this or I'm going to have to shave her head. Okay. Those are the two realistic, keeping it real with y'all options. Okay. So we're going to do the best we can. Um, but I think honestly, it looks pretty good if I do say so myself. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for today's vlog, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me midweek. What are we thinking? Are we liking this? Do we think we can work with a midweek vlog? Is this what you guys want? Make sure that you let me know. But like I said, these midweek vlogs will be more focused, specific subject matter. If I don't have anything to say, I won't post. So I won't just be posting for the hell of it. But either way, let me know what you guys think and I will talk to you in my next one. Matter of fact, see you on Sunday. Bye.